Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to my daily Arabic vocabularies. I am Mudaris Suleiman Ali. Happy listening. We are going to learn from this lesson how to change the Arabic verb Ya'atamir to suit some certain pronouns in Arabic. Remember that Ya'atamir is an example of five letter verbs in Arabic. La Allah fahimt, I hope you understand. Masha Allah. Fa'ilun modari, present tense. Fa'ilun modari, present continuous tense. Fa'ilun modari, this is a form of verb in Arabic that one can use to talk about an action happening at the moment or something that we do on daily basis like going to work, going to school or going to mosque. As I am teaching now, the only form of verb in Arabic that one can use to talk about what I am doing now is called Fi'ilun Modari. The question is, how do we change the verb Ya'atamir to suit the pronouns below? Ya'atamiru simply means he is performing Umrah. He in Arabic is Huwa which is the opposite of here, she. So how do we now change the verb Ya'atamiru to suit the following pronouns? Wahid, number one. Ana, I. So how do we change the verb Ya'atamiru to suit Ana? All you need to do is to detach Ya'un and attach Alifun. So the verb Ya'atamir will now become Atamir, which means I am performing Umrah. Ithnan, number two. Nahnu, we. So how do we change the verb Ya'atamir to suit Nahnu? All you need to do is to detach Ya'un and attach Nunun. So the verb Ya'atamir will now become Na'atamiru, which means we are performing Umrah. Thalatha, number three. Anta, you, representing a single male person. So how do we change the verb Ya'atamir to suit Anta? All you need to do is to detach Ya'un and attach Ta'un. So the verb Ya'atamir will now become Ta'atamir, which means you are performing Umrah. Arba, number four. Anti, you, representing a single female person. So how do we change the verb Ya'atamir to suit Anti? All you need to do is to detach Ya'un and attach Ta'un. Not only that, then you attach Ya'un to the last letter. Remember, once Ya'un is attached, the letter before it must take Kasra. As we know that Ya'un is the mother of Kasra in Arabic, then you attach Nunun, carrying Fatiha to the last letter. So the verb Ya'atamir will now become Ta'atamirina, which means you are performing ablution. You can only do this while talking to a single female person directly. Hamsa, number five, here, she. So how do we change the verb Ya'atamir to suit here? All you need to do is to detach Ya'un and attach Ta'un. So the verb Ya'atamir will now become Ta'atamir, which means she is performing Umrah. Remember, we use Ya'un to talk about a single male person and Ta'un to talk about a single female person. Talking about them does not mean talking to them directly. La'alaka fahimt, I hope you understand. Masha Allah. Udurus, learn. Walahis and observe at the same time. Udurus, study. Walahis and observe at the same time. Mujabun, positive. Manfiyun, negative. Mujab, positive. This is the state of a sentence in Arabic that means something is happening. Manfiyun, negative. This is the state of a sentence in Arabic that means nothing is happening. For instance, Wahid number one. Ya'atamir, he is performing Umrah. Ma Ya'atamir, he is not performing Umrah. Ithnan, number two. Ta'atamir, she is performing Umrah. Ma Ta'atamir, she is not performing Umrah. Thalatha, number three. A'atamir, I am performing Umrah. Ma Ma'atamir, I am not performing Umrah. Arba, number four. Na'atamiru, we are performing Umrah. Ma na'atamir, we are not performing Umrah. Hamsa, number five. Ta'atamir, you are performing Umrah, talking to a single male person. Ma ta'atamir, you are not performing Umrah. Sita, number six. Ta'atamirina, you are performing Umrah, talking to a single female person. Ma ta'atamirina, you are not performing Umrah. La Allah fahimt, I hope you understand. Masha Allah. Al istimal, now the usage. Wahid number one. Mata ya'atamir Khalid. 
متى يعتمر خالد؟ When will Khalid perform Umrah? I repeat. متى يعتمر خالد؟ When will Khalid perform Umrah? Now the answer. سيعتمر خالد في شهر شعبان. سيعتمر خالد في شهر شعبان. سيعتمر خالد. A Khalid will perform Umrah في شهر شعبان in the month of Shaban. اثنان number two. متى تعتمر يا متى تعتمر زينب؟ متى تعتمر زينب؟ When will Zainab perform Umrah? Now the answer. ستعتمر زينب في شهر رمضان. ستعتمر زينب في شهر رمضان. Zainab will perform Umrah in the month of Ramadan. ثلاثة. Number three. متى تعتمر يا خالد؟ متى تعتمر؟ When will you perform Umrah? يا خالد؟ خالد. Now the answer. سأعتمر في شهر شوال. سأعتمر في شهر شوال. سأعتمر. I will perform Umrah في شهر شوال. In the month of شوال. لا لك فهمت؟ I hope you understand. ما شاء الله. أربعة. Number four. متى تعتمرين يا زينب؟ متى تعتمرين يا زينب؟ متى تعتمرين؟ When will you perform Umrah? يا زينب؟ زينب. Now the answer. سأعتمر في شهر ذي الكعدة. سأعتمر في شهر ذي الكعدة. سأعتمر. I will perform Umrah في شهر ذي الكعدة. In the month of ذي الكعدة. Remember, ذي الكعدة has two names. Either you refer to it as ذي القعدة أو ذي الكعدة. Both are correct. خمسة. Number five. متى تعتمران؟ متى تعتمران؟ When will you both perform Umrah? Talking to Hashim and Khalid. Now the answer. سنعتمر في شهر ذي الحجة. سنعتمر. We will perform Umrah. في شهر ذي الحجة. In the month of ذي الحجة. Being the last month of Islamic calendar. ستة. Number six. متى تعتمرون يا إخوة؟ متى تعتمرون؟ When will you all perform Umrah? يا إخوة. Brothers. Now the answer. سنعتمر هذه السنة. سنعتمر هذه السنة سنعتمر We will perform Umrah هذه السنة This year لا لك فهمت I hope you understand ما شاء الله أربعة سبعة نمبر سيفون متى تعتمرنا يا أخوات متى تعتمرنا يا أخوات متى تعتمرنا When will you all perform Umrah Talking to a group of female persons يا أخوات Sisters Now the answer سنعتمر سنة القادمة سنعتمر السنة القادمة سنعتمر We will perform Umrah سنة القادمة Next year سنعتمر We will perform Umrah سنة القادمة Next year لا لك فهمت I hope you understand ما شاء الله Now talking about أشهر التكويم الهجري أشهر التكويم الهجري Remember أشهر is the plural form of شهر شهر مفرد Singular أشهر جمع Plural So a tekwim simply means calendar. A tekwim calendar. So al hijri, from the word hijra, migration, the movement of Muslim from Mecca to Medina. So anything that has to do with hijra, it is regarded as al hijri. So ashuru tekwim al hijri, the month of hijra calendar. Wahid number one, Muharram being the first month of Islam. Ithnan number two, Safar being the second month. ثلاثة نمبر ثري ربيع الأول بين دي تاد مونت أربعة نمبر فو ربيع الثاني is the fourth month خمسة نمبر فايف جمادة الأولى is the fifth month ستة نمبر سيكس جمادة الثانية is the sixth month أيضا جمادة الثانية أو جمادة الآخرة both are correct سبعة نمبر سيفن رجب بين دي سيفنت مونت ثمانية نمبر ايت شعبان بين دي ايت مونت Tisya, number nine, Ramadan, being the ninth month of Islam. Ashara, number ten, Shawwal, being the tenth month. Ehida, Ashara, number eleven, Dhul Hijjah, being the eleventh month of Islam. Ithna, Ashara, number twelve, Dhul Hijjah, being the twelfth month of Islam. La alaka fahimt, I hope you understand. Masha Allah. Now the comparison between Madin, a past tense, and Madari'un, present tense. Wahid number one. Hua, he. Atamara, he has performed Umrah, or he performed Umrah. Ya'atamir, he is performing Umrah, or he performs Umrah. Ithnan, number two. Here, she. Atamarat, she has performed Umrah, or she performed Umrah. Ta'atamir, she is performing Umrah, or she performs Umrah. Falafa, number three. 
Ana, I. Yani tamar, yani tamar tu. I tamartu, I have performed umrah, or I performed umrah. Atemir, I am performing umrah, or I perform umrah. Arba, a number four. Nahanu, we. I tamarna, we have performed umrah, or we performed umrah. Naatemir, we are performing umrah, or we perform umrah. Hamsa, number five. Anta, you, representing a single male person that you are talking to directly. So, I tamarta, I tamarta. You have performed Umrah or you performed Umrah. Ta'atamir, you are performing Umrah or you perform Umrah. Sita, number six, anti, you, representing a single female person that you are talking to directly. And Tamarti, you have performed Umrah or you performed Umrah. Ta'atamirina, you are performing Umrah or you perform Umrah. Sabo, number seven, antum, all of you, referring to a group of male persons. In Tamartum, you have all performed Umrah, or you performed Umrah. Ta'atamiruna, you are all performing Umrah, or you perform Umrah. Thamania, number eight, Antunna, all of you, referring to a group of female persons. In Tamartunna, you have all performed Umrah, or you all performed Umrah. Ta'atamiruna, Ta'atamiruna, you are all performing Umrah, or you all performed Umrah. La Allah Fahimt, I hope you understand. Masha Allah. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك Do not forget to go to the classroom Take your lesson watching a single video clips and revise it using the PDF file below it مع السلامة وإلى اللقاء آخر